500,000 years ago, in the dim distant past, Earth was home to no less than 12 different species of humans. This was an era when our ancestors lived in a world far from the modern one. Each of these species had its own unique characteristics, adapted to different environments and lifestyles. This was an era when humanity had not yet achieved its dominant position on the planet, and the struggle for survival was harsh and unpredictable, as in the wildest corners of the modern world. Imagine this ancient picture. At one end of the planet lived muscular, cold-adapted Neanderthals who survived thanks to their strength and patience. At the other end are the elegant and graceful Denisovans, adapted to live in conditions where other species could not survive. And between them are ancient people whose names are not even preserved in historical archives, but who played their role in the history of evolution. Like wolf species today, these ancient people competed for resources and territory. Their life was filled with constant challenges of nature. Hunting for prey, fighting predators, adapting to a changing environment. But, unlike our time when humanity formed society and culture, in those days each species existed in its own world, independently of the others. Over time, some of these species began to displace others, taking their place in the history of the Earth. Neanderthals, for example, are considered one of the most famous representatives of ancient people. Their fate remains one of the most fascinating mysteries of evolution. And while other species may have vanished into oblivion, their legacy lives on in our genes, a reminder that evolution is not a static process, but a continuous struggle to survive and adapt to a changing environment. Perhaps if these ancient people had had more time or luck, we would be talking about a very different human history today. Imagine an ancient landscape, imbued with mysticism and adventure, where every corner of the earth is imbued with the history of our ancient ancestors. Traveling back in time two million years, we meet primitive Homo erectus roaming the ancient expanses of Asia. These ancient people, although possessing significant physical abilities, were forced to fight for their survival in a world where danger lurked at every turn. We move into the depths of the Altai Mountains and meet Denisovsky Man, fleeing the teeth of saber-toothed tigers in the shelters of caves. The terrible roars of predators were heard at night, but even in this harsh environment, ancient people found ways to survive, developing hunting and defense techniques. We move west to the Libyan savanna, where Rhodesian man, who lived some 600,000 years ago, hid from lions. In Pax Hen sought safety and food by learning to use fire and creating tools for defense against the predators whose menacing silhouettes lurked in the darkness. Now let's move to the cold expanses of Eurasia, where flocks of Neanderthals survived on the edge of the ice. Muscular and powerful, they were hunters adapted to harsh environments. Although they did not have a developed language, their social structures and means of communication allowed them to coordinate hunting and defense against danger. These different species of ancient humans, each with their own unique traits and methods of survival, filled our planet with their presence, leaving their mark on human history. The fate of the Neanderthals, the mysterious ancestors of modern humans, remains one of the most fascinating mysteries in the history of our species. As Homo sapiens, or modern humans, began to gain strength and spread across the planet, Neanderthals faced inevitable competition for resources, 
territory, and perhaps even genetic materials. For many years, scientists have tried to unravel the mystery of the disappearance of the Neanderthals. After all, they were among the most advanced and adapted to the harsh conditions of life on Earth. The Neanderthal brain, much larger in size than the brain of Homo sapiens, caused surprise and admiration among scientists. And yet, despite their superiority in some aspects, the Neanderthals disappeared, and Homo sapiens continued their triumphal march across the planet. One hypothesis explains the extinction of Neanderthals through competition for resources with Homo sapiens. Modern humans may have been more successful at hunting, gathering, and using tools, which gave them an advantage in the struggle for survival. Additionally, Homo sapiens may have been more adaptive to a changing environment and had more complex social structures, which gave them an advantage in competition for resources. Another hypothesis involves genetic exchange between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Modern genomic studies show that modern humans in Eurasia have a certain percentage of Neanderthal genes, which may indicate that at some point there was some level of hybridization between the two species. It is possible that this genetic exchange somehow contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals, perhaps by making them less competitive in the struggle for survival. The ancient pages of human history are filled with mysteries, and one of the most fascinating is the one that concerns the fate of the Neanderthals. Despite their powerful physical characteristics and high adaptability to harsh environments, Neanderthals seem to have lost the battle for survival with Homo sapiens. Studies of bones and fossils indicate that for a long time on Earth there was rivalry between these two types of people. Numerous lesions on the bones found in Neanderthals may indicate that in the historical past there were fights and conflicts between them and Homo sapiens. This war of survival, which lasted for an incredible hundred thousand years, became a key moment in the evolution of our species. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens first met approximately a million years ago in Africa. However, approximately 500,000 years ago, Neanderthals began to migrate north, leaving the African continent. They overcame the spaces of the Middle East, penetrated into the future Russia and Europe, reaching the borders of the eternal ice in the north. For Neanderthals, these territories presented difficult challenges, but it was here that they demonstrated their outstanding endurance and adaptability. They developed sophisticated hunting strategies, created tools, and learned to survive in harsh climates. However, the time came when the fate of the Neanderthals turned upside down. With the arrival of Homo sapiens in the same territories, fierce competition for resources began. The struggle for survival took on a new, even more brutal aspect, and, unfortunately, the Neanderthals found themselves in a losing position. Perhaps factors such as more complex social structures, advanced communication skills and more efficient hunting strategies helped Homo sapiens emerge victorious in this ancient war of survival. Neanderthals, despite their outstanding abilities, were unable to resist this new enemy. Deep in ancient times, when the world was saturated with wildlife and fear of the unknown, Neanderthals fought for their survival on the cold expanses of the planet. 
They became ideal hunters, learning the skill of hunting prey, which became a necessity for survival in cold conditions. Meat became their key source of nutrition, becoming a symbol of the struggle for life in the harsh conditions of the cold part of the planet. Like any predators, Neanderthals defended their territory and prey from competitors. They masterfully wielded tools made from stones and had physical strength that allowed them to successfully defeat their opponents. But the most dangerous enemy for them was Homo sapiens, who, in turn, also began their journey to the north, leaving their native expanses of Africa. As soon as the swarms of Homo sapiens multiplied and began their migratory journey to the north, the Great War began between different species of humanity. Neanderthals, feeling threatened by Homo sapiens, stood up to defend their land and resources. Rivalry for territory and access to food escalated into a deadly struggle for survival. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens waged their war on spanning hundreds of thousands of years, alternating with battles, hunting, and defense. Bloody skirmishes filled with fear and excitement have left their mark on the history of human evolution. Both species have shown their remarkable ability to survive and adapt to harsh environments. What unfolds before us is a picture of ancient struggles and struggles for survival, depicted in bones and fossils unearthed by archaeologists. It was during this period, during the era of antiquity, when the world was saturated with wilderness and fear of the unknown, that great battles took place between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, leaving marks on the bones and skeletons of both species. Archaeological finds indicate that both species were involved in violent fights. Marks of mutilation and weapon trauma found on the bones of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens suggest that clashes were inevitable. Injuries from blunt objects such as stones and clubs are particularly common, especially among young men killed or injured in combat. Neanderthal fossils often show signs of such impacts, suggesting that they were embroiled in brutal battles over territory and resources. On the other hand, finds of Homo sapiens, for example, in the Alps and the USA, indicate the use of knives and spears in battles. In Africa, archaeologists have discovered a tribe of 27 people who died 13,000 years ago, indicating large-scale battles and clashes between these ancient communities. The war for territory and resources could not pass quickly and painlessly. The clashes were brutal, but the small number of packs of primitive people and their limited resources made each battle bloody. Neanderthals were known for their strength and endurance, and each of them was an opponent worth a dozen Homo sapiens. These battles were reminiscent of clashes between great armies, where each warrior was ready to sacrifice his life for his flock and his land. The era of clashes between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens resembled a saga of survival, with each side fighting for its place in the sun with fierce tenacity and determination. The rivalry between these two species of humanity, the battle for survival, lasted for many millennia, leaving traces in the vastness of antiquity. Neanderthals were remarkable hunters and warriors, born killers with skills honed by centuries of thousands of years of hunting and survival. They were muscular, hardy, with excellent eyesight, adapted to the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. 
Their strength and endurance made them dangerous opponents, even for the more advanced Homo sapiens. However, the Neanderthals faced an enemy who was no less persistent and persistent in the struggle for survival. Homo sapiens, with more developed social structures and technological advantages, entered into a battle where every moment was precious. For 100,000 years of war the conflicts between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens gave way to periods of pauses and deadlocks, when conflicts reached the stage of exhaustion. Some researchers argue that Homo sapiens were able to completely exterminate the Neanderthals only after 75,000 years, overcoming resistance and capturing enemy territory. One of the possible reasons for the victory of Homo sapiens over Neanderthals could be the improvement of throwing weapons. The use of bows, spears and slings allowed sapiens to increase their fighting distance while avoiding direct confrontation with the muscular but slow Neanderthals. Ambush tactics and long-distance escape strategies served Homo sapiens in their struggle for survival. The era of ancient battles and the struggle for survival in the vastness of planet Earth remains one of the most mysterious chapters in the history of mankind. Among the many hypotheses and versions, one of them stands out the one that says that Homo sapiens may simply have been larger in numbers, and this gave them an advantage in the struggle for survival. The migration of Homo sapiens during the Ice Age thaw may have freed them from the resource and food constraints that had contributed to the conflict and decline of other human species. While Homo sapiens expanded their territories and found new food sources, other species were forced to adapt to harsh conditions or face extinction. In light of new data and research, it is becoming clear that Neanderthals were far from being as primitive as they were previously thought. They had a complex social structure, could bury their dead, and even painted pictures on the walls of caves. Such facts discard old ideas about them as simple and stupid creatures. However, Despite all this, the truth about the harsh times in human history remains that there were once 12 species of people living on Earth, and only one of them survived. Homo sapiens, pursuing their goals and striving for dominance, showed no mercy to their rivals. Raid after raid, valley after valley, Homo sapiens crushed other representatives of the human race. Neanderthals, the strongest and most powerful of all species, disappeared about 24,000 years ago, becoming the last to fall victim in this ancient war. In their quest for power and supremacy, Homo sapiens wiped out other human species from the face of the Earth, leaving only traces of their existence in stone remains and archaeological finds. Today we send ships into space in search of other life on distant stars, building telescopes, looking for answers to questions about the origin of the universe. But at the same time, we must remember that we ourselves once destroyed other forms of life on our home planet, remembering the lessons of the past so as not to repeat mistakes in the future. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And also press the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.